Hi everyone, welcome to my video where I'll be discussing my money goals for 2023. Last year, I made a video where I shared my money goals for 2022. I'll go through those goals again and see how well I've achieved them and that will inform how I plan for 2023's goals. If you want to watch that video from a year ago, I'll have it linked below. So let's take a look at how well I did for 2022's money goals. Firstly, I wanted a pay raise. This is one of the first goals that I achieved very early on back in 2022. Back when I made this goal at the end of 2021, my salary was 3.2k and I managed to get a pay raise of 3.5k. So that was my salary for the whole of 2022. Next, I wanted to save 17k in emergency funds. And yep, I achieved this too. There were a couple instances in the year where I had to dip into my emergency funds, like having to get a new mattress and also my mother had this huge dental bill recently, but somehow I still managed to hit 17k by December 2022 and my mother also has 4k of her own saved up. So altogether, we have about 21k, which is very good for us. Next, I wanted to save $3,000 for LASIK, which I did. I got the surgery and I have perfect vision now and I have no regrets about the entire experience. I have a full video about it on my channel and I'll link it below. Next, I wanted to save $7,000 in retirement funds. So when I came up with this goal, I only had one retirement investment portfolio. So I thought that by the end of the year, I wanted to see at least 7k in that portfolio. So in that respect, I guess I didn't hit my goal for two main reasons. Firstly, I diversified my retirement portfolio and I bought an endowment plan to balance out the risk in my overall portfolio. So I wasn't contributing the $470 a month that I had initially planned, but I adjusted my goal to hit 5k instead of 7k. But then, as you may know, all the markets went down, so overall portfolio value went down with it, and this is the second main reason. So even though I was still on track every single month with making the contributions, my overall portfolio value still didn't hit 5k. It's very close though, and as of this moment, it's $4,900. So yeah, I don't want to say that I failed this goal. I think I achieved the spirit of the goal just in another way. I did put aside 7k overall in the year for my retirement investments, which is an accomplishment. My next goal of saving $4,000 for my medium term investments also faced the same issue as my previous goal. Markets are down, so overall portfolio value is down. So technically, I couldn't reach 4k. Last I checked, it was $3,950. But the spirit of the goal in terms of the actual monthly contributions, I achieved my goal. My next goal was to find a new job that paid me more than 3.5k by the end of 2022. And I came up with this goal after I got my pay raise at the end of 2021. So I thought the next step is to earn more than my current 3.5k salary. And I'm very happy to share that I achieved this goal too. Since I started working full-time three years ago, I've been a contract worker, which means that I just get a monthly salary and that's it. I had some medical benefits and annual leave, but I didn't have company insurance, bonuses, or anything like that. So recently, I got promoted to full-time instead of contract, and my new salary is $4,000. It's made a huge difference to how I budget and how I'm able to save for other goals in my life. I'll be explaining more about my new salary in my next video on how I'm planning to budget in 2023, so please check out that video if you're interested. Once it's out, I'll link it in the description box below. Finally, my last goal, which I remember being my least confident goal, was to build a secondary income stream. And my gosh, everyone, I'm really happy to say that somehow I did it. Obviously, YouTube is my main source of side income, but not in the way that I expected. I actually don't earn very much from AdSense on YouTube itself, but it's the opportunities that come to me because of YouTube that have been major sources of side income for me. I've done bookkeeping work, article writing, proofreading work, affiliate links, I've sold templates like my HDB renovation one. Some of you have also supported me directly through Patreon, for which I am so incredibly grateful. So yeah, huge, huge win, and I'm so proud of myself for somehow being able to pull this off. With the past year's goals and reflections in mind, here are my money goals for 2023. Firstly, I want to hit 30k in emergency funds that is locked purely for emergencies like unexpected medical bills, accidents, and anything else that is truly a dire emergency. How I'm planning to build this is a bit of a risk because I'm not putting any money aside for it every single month from my paycheck in 2023. My family is getting a windfall of money soon, 
which was part of my late father's estate that is only being released to us this year. So I'm actually thinking of using that windfall to contribute to this emergency fund and hopefully reach 30k. As of right now, we have about 20k of emergency funds between my mother and I, which I think is sufficient, but now that my salary has increased, I would prefer to have at least 30k worth of emergency funds. Secondly, I would like to save at least 1k a month for my retirement. This year, I'm also focusing more on principal invested rather than the final investment value, which would fluctuate depending on the market. In 2022, I had an end-of-year goal to reach a certain amount by December, and as we've seen from my review, I could not reach the exact amount because the overall value of my portfolio went down, even though theoretically I contributed enough every month to reach my goal. And such is the nature of investing. So theoretically, if I contribute 1k a month in 2023, I'll have invested 12k by the end of the year, but I'll be focusing more on reaching that monthly goal instead of worrying about the final value at the end of 2023. Thirdly, I would like to put aside $420 a month for my medium-term investments, something with a timeline of 5-7 to seven years. Similar to the previous goal, I'm going to focus on hitting my monthly contribution instead of the final amount. Theoretically, by investing $420 a month, I would have invested about 5k by the end of the year. The reason why I'm investing this money instead of putting it in a high interest savings account is because after weighing the risk and reward, I think my money has the potential to grow more if I invest it instead of just earning a bank interest rate on it. Yes, of course, there's the risk that the market would tank in the year that I would like to withdraw the money, so it's a matter of how much risk you're willing to take. I'm putting this in a stash away portfolio that I've been using since I started this goal a year ago. For me, this medium term investment is not my emergency fund or my retirement fund, so if the market really tanks, then I'll just have to hold off on withdrawing the money. My next goal is to contribute $400 a month to my holiday fund. Now this goal, unlike my medium term investments, I'm planning to withdraw frequently from and so I want it to be liquid. Previously, I never had enough room in my budget to save up specially for a holiday and so I've had to take from my sinking fund or save money from my side hustles. So it was never a stable or dedicated pot of funds. So for 2023, I've decided that it's something I would like to have and it'll be part of my budget. And so I'm very excited to share that I'll be partnering with Stash Away to help me get closer to this goal. I have a trip at the end of the year planned and so I have a very concrete goal of how much money I would like to save by that time. So Stash Away will be contributing $100 into my portfolio as part of this partnership and I'll be contributing $300 every month. So that's $400 in total. Since I want this pot of funds to be liquid, I was looking at different cash management accounts because they tend to offer higher projected interest rates than normal bank accounts. Stash Away recently came out with their Simple Plus cash management portfolio which offers a projected return of 4.6 to 5%. I thought it would be perfect for this goal since the holiday I'm planning for is around the end of the year and Stash Away Simple Plus recommends holding your cash in the portfolio for at least 12 months. It's an ultra low risk product and there is no minimum amount you have to put in or keep inside or any lock-in amounts. So if I decide to go on a mini holiday in the middle of the year, I can easily withdraw the money without any fees. If you have a similar goal as me and you're keen to try out Stash Away Simple Plus, you can use my link here and it's also in the description box. You can get up to $20,000 managed for free for 6 months. With $400 a month saved, that's about 4.8k at the end of the year, so that could be one big holiday or maybe two small holidays spread out across the year. It's up to me and whatever plans I have. And if I don't use all of it up, I'll roll it over into the next year. Alright, so the next goal is to earn at least $500 a month from side hustles. 2022 was the year of finding various sources of side income, which was something I wrote down as my goal in 2022, but I had no idea how I was going to go about doing it. But I'm so thankful that I somehow managed to do it and I've created various little side hustles that can bring in additional income for me. So in 2022, I was building these streams. Now in 2023, I hope to stabilize it and really be more intentional about bringing in that side income on a more consistent basis, which means being more disciplined with my work and my schedule. A lot of my goals depend on this side income to supplement my main income, so I really need to work harder. By the way, I do freelance bookkeeping and copywriting on the side, so if you're looking for freelancers, please contact me. Finally, my last goal is to get a pay raise by the end of 2023. 
This is a bit of a throwaway goal that I'm just including in here and I don't have an exact plan on how I'm going to get it besides just doing my job well and advocating for myself. If you work in a company, usually there might be an opportunity for a yearly pay raise, either by default or by performing well in your role. So that's my situation right now. I know performance bonuses and any bonuses in general were affected in the last couple years, but I'm hoping that the situation has improved and it'll be possible for me to get a pay raise next year. Ultimately, I don't think it's something I have a lot of control over, so I'm just putting this here as a nice to get, but I'll be focusing more on my other goals. To round off this video, I want to discuss three main philosophies when it comes to my attitude towards money. Firstly, I want to prioritize my savings rate instead of the numerical value of my savings. And I want to keep working on my savings rate and increasing it over time as I earn more. I've been reading a few articles about the importance of your savings rate, which is the percentage of money from your disposable personal income that you set aside for your retirement nest egg. For me, I interpret this strictly as money for your retirement when you're no longer working and earning an income, not your savings for your house or emergency fund or holiday, which I consider more short to medium term savings. From my research, a lot of sources claim that your savings rate is one of the biggest factors that impacts whether you'll have enough money to last through your retirement and also how early you can retire. According to this article by Savology, if I save 12k a year from 25 years old, apparently I can be a millionaire at 53 years old. That's the dream. Not sure how realistic it is for me, but I want to work towards that. I'll link some articles in the description if you want to read more about this. Secondly, and the most exciting one is, I'm going to make room in my budget to treat myself without too much guilt. I talked about my monthly contributions to various things like my retirement fund and my medium term investments. Once I have hit those contributions, I'm technically allowed to spend on whatever I want with the money I have left. Of course, the numbers will adjust according to circumstances. Like if I win the lottery, I'm not going to only contribute 12k a year to my retirement. I'm still going by my savings rate rule most of the time. But the thinking behind this philosophy is that I'm already putting in the effort to make strides towards my goal, and it's not an easy goal to hit. To balance out this intense goal, I need freedom to do whatever I want in the opposite direction. So as long as I don't compromise on my goal to put aside at least 20% or $1,000 every month into my retirement nest egg, I can do whatever I want with the income I have left, including the side income that I earn. Throughout this year in 2022, I've learned that I will always find money somehow, somewhere, to fund my frivolous spending, whether by side hustling, credit card cashback, random cash gifts, carouseling, and so on. So I know I can do it, and by doing it this way, I hope it will keep me motivated to continue to save towards my future. Because I don't want to be so focused on the far future that I cannot enjoy my life now. Thirdly, I will not scrimp on preventative health expenses, such as healthy food and meals, health screenings, dental work, and anything else in this category. I'm sure I don't have to explain this one. I want to make health one of my topmost priorities because I've experienced so many times the consequences of poor health, and to the best of my ability, I want to make sure that my mother is healthy because she's the only parent I have left. And with my expanded budget, I'm looking forward to see how I can redirect some of my discretionary income into health-related expenses. But I think my biggest issue is time and motivation, not so much cost. So we'll see how that goes. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble on and on about my money goals for 2023. I hope this has given you some inspiration if you're looking into your own goals for the new year. I'll be filming a check-in on my goals in the middle of the year, so stay tuned if you're interested in following me on this journey. I also have last year's video linked in the description box below. Again, if you're interested in Stash Away, please use my link that is in the description box. And subscribe to my channel if you're interested in future videos from me. I also have a Patreon if you'd like to further support my work on this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.